Welcome to the next episode of Food Reviews with me. Today, I have something very special planned, as well as an update on the Mr. Beast chocolates. First, first things first. Orange Cream Pop Twizzlers. A summer treat filled twists. That's all it says. I was gonna read like the story or something, but that's all that there is on there. Make sure you read the label every time. Why? There's nothing on the label to read. I have received the Mr. Beast chocolates. They are here. I'm gonna be reviewing them live this Tuesday, May 24th at 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Go to twitch.tv slash navius. These are a summer special edition. But if you ha say if you if you bought these during summer when they are available and you just stored them in your cupboard or something until winter You could eat them in winter. I don't know how Fresh they would be or if they would be as chewy as they're supposed to be But you could do it if you wanted to let's open it up and take a look. I don't see a tab There is however uh, this little flappy thing on the back which I usually use to uh, open the packages. Like so. Ooh, smells just like creamsicle. They smell very good. They smell very sweet. They're very sticky actually not that sticky they got a, a texture like a rubbery texture they don't really leave a residue on your fingers I was kind of expecting it to uh, have, have like a something something on there but doesn't seem like there is so this is a, a, a close-up look when you spin it, it almost appears like it's moving in a particular direction. And I think that's because of the way that the lines are and they're twisted around. It's pretty cool. The inside, the middle is not hollow. It has a sort of a, a cream filling. If you notice this. All the way through on both sides. Before we take a bite, I would like to show you the... Uh, uh, wiggle of the Twizzler. Cheers. Hmm. Got a bit of a, like a, a tangy, tang flavor. Aftertaste type of thing. It doesn't hit you right away. You gotta chew a couple times. Let the, the, the juices go in. But once it reaches like the back of your tongue. It's like. It's there. It's quite sweet. It seems like the flavor. Groups up at the back. Behind your tongue. Like underneath your tongue at the back of it. And like attacks from there. It like. They like sneak back there, all the, the flavor sneaks back there and then attacks from that point. Not like in a malicious way. It's a nice creamy surprise. If you've ever had a creamsicle, you would definitely be able to like, say, yeah, this tastes like one of those. It's not exactly the same as one of those, but you can, you would be able to figure it out. I also happened upon another very, very similar item. Twizzlers Key Lime Flavor, Summer Edition. Filled, Twizzlers Filled Twists. I didn't do the, uh, the ASMR segment for the last one, so I'm gonna do it with this one. Zero, zero trans fats, by the way. So this is a healthy option. Let's get right into it. Wow, it's got a lime scent. Doesn't seem as strong of a smell as the orange cream pop, but I think that might be because lime is more of a... 
you know one thing i'm noticing first first thing is it's more difficult to pull these out of the package they're getting stuck there we go we got it so these ones have less structural integrity than the orange the creamsicle flavor but the lines are similar and they have a similar effect as you spin them it does appear as though that the cream is escaping this one end let's take a bite a much more tame flavor much more similar to key lime pie i wouldn't even know this was licorice if i couldn't see it and feel it if this was on a plate in the shape of a pie and i was eating it it would just taste like pie there's no crust but it's the the filling of the pie that it tastes like i actually quite like this one there's no trickery with this one there's no surprise attacks there's no none of that it it is what it is it's a little more tame it's a little more mellow which is very nice as long as you watch this review beforehand you'll know what you're getting into you're not going to be surprised by anything and that's what i that's why i do this to inform everybody so you can make informed purchasing decisions and um that's pretty much it